My name is Jeru and I make art and poetry. Welcome to this little space where we can share the beauty of words and art. In this video, I would want to share with you a few of the pieces that I have made throughout the past few years. I would also want to share with you the inspiration behind it and how I come up with concepts for my paintings. So the first painting I would want to share with you is called Unrest. It is this right here. Um, it is an 8 by 11 acrylic on canvas painting and I did this in 2020. Uh, I will pop up a scan photo of this so that you can see it without the glare. Uh, so usually when I come up with concepts for my paintings, it usually comes with poetry. I'm not sure if you can really call it poetry, but a verse that rhymes. For example, this right here came with a pretty long verse. So I usually paint what the verse feels like for me. I don't know if that makes sense, but for example, this one, let me read to you the verse that came with it. I'm not a spoken poet artist, so this is gonna be awkward, but yeah. So this is the painting and this is the verse that came with it in my mind. <laughs> so, I want to live in an imagined world where neither truth nor lies would hold. Everything is bright and light and bold, vibrance and saturation at max threshold. I want to live in an imagined world where eyes don't leak, hearts don't grip nor shatter nor break, where you can free fall no matter the stakes. I want to live in an imagined world where cotton clouds are candy, the horizon is at arm's reach, and the sun and the moon share the atmosphere. I want to exist where I am not right now be in that imaginary world somehow to live in a life in Dali's mind while leaving the current me behind so basically in my mind I was thinking of live like with so much things that happen you can only find solace inside your head just like the verse that comes with this it is like trying to live where things are the ideal rather than like facing what is at here at the moment. It's kind of bleak but my style is bright colors behind in front of bleak meanings. <laughs> so that's that. This is unrest and let's move on to the next one. So the next one is this, um, it's called Silent Remark, it is a uh, 14 by 16 oil on canvas panel and I also did this in 2020. Uh, I might upload another video with the poetry that came with this. Basically I love how women can express different things without even saying anything so a look can mean a thousand things even though they didn't say words so it's this one I will be uploading another video with the verse that came with it so that this video wouldn't be too long so if you're interested with that you can check it out maybe sometime in the future so yeah, it's this one. It's called Silent Remark. So next is one of the newer paintings I made. Uh, I made this early this year, 2001. It's called Lily. So a lily symbolizes rebirth. So I just wanted 2020 to end last year and kind of made this to signify a new start, a rebirth for 2021. It's 
just that. It's that's the meaning behind this. But yeah, I'll share the verse that came with this in another video. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, this is Lily. And then one of the studies I made is this one. It's the girl with the pearl earring by Johannes Vermeer. Uh, yeah, I tried to. This is also oil on canvas panel. It's 14 by 16. I tried to capture Johannes Vermeer's study of light and dark. So, I also. Actually, I've been uploading quite a few time lapses in this channel previously, and this is one of them. I did a time lapse of this I'm really happy with the outcome of this yeah so it's it's just a study if you want to see me paint this in time lapse you can check out the video on my channel it's already up over I, I'm not sure if I can already add tags but it's somewhere here okay so yeah here it is so the next one is this one and it's called folklore in the philippines you have these mythical women called diwata it is basically like fairies of the forest diwatas are part of the philippine folklore so the rumors about the diwatas is that they are very beautiful creatures the story behind the Watas are that they are the guardian of the forest and people are usually enamored by their beauty. So that's that's the story behind that. Uh, also this is actually a remake. The original the original painting of this I have it on my wall. Let me just take it down. But yeah. This is a smaller version. Oh, I can't see it. This is a smaller version, and I'll just get the original one. Yeah, it's this one. It's kind of big. This is oil on wood. I wanted to capture the ethereal beauty of the Dewata. So that's why I call it folklore. And also, that's why I chose a color scheme. So, yeah. So, the next one is a pretty big one as well. It's the one that you see at my, on my background. So, I call this Prosperare which means prosperity. The verse for this is pretty bleak, but I think there is a, there is a positive undertone to it, so I'll share that in another video featuring the, the details of this. So as you see, it's basically how progress is not always progress or prosperity is not always easy but it's always going to be beautiful in the end when you actually reach your goal so yeah so this is the prosperare it is a 24 by 30 canvas oil on canvas last uh, original artwork that i would share with you is called malaya this one it is also a 24 by 30 oil on canvas painting and malaya means freedom again with the theme of like bright colors but like bleak meaning behind the painting it's basically my brand at this moment so I did this in 2021 Basically, this, the meaning or explanation or inspiration behind this is that people usually 
turn a blind eye or don't speak up and just cover things with beautiful or superficial things just to achieve freedom so yeah it's called Maraya on a lighter note I also want to share with you a few of my fan arts because I make fan art for fun <laughs> so I had this made <laughs> this is like a small photo book from photo book yeah, this right here is my Instagram handle for my fan art so this is digital art basically it's like a mini portfolio of all my digital art so yeah the first one is here <laughs> This is a fan art of Exo Kai, Kim Jong Un, <laughs> but in the style of Mark Ryden's paintings. Also, this one again, another uh, a different color scheme, but the same paint, the same as this, just a different color scheme. Again, in Mark Ryden's, inspired by Mark Mark Ryden's painting style. Also this, uh, this is Suho from EXO again. Uh, I did this when he released his solo album just to like celebrate. <laughs> so it's that one. Next is, next is Shumin again from EXO. Same art, doll-like art style. And then this is Vekyon from EXO again. Yeah, I'm an XOL, so hi fellow XOLs. <laughs> so this is Bekion. I did this for his birthday in 2020. Yeah, I think it's 2020. And then this one. I did this for his delight solo comeback. It's Bekion as well. But I made a scary version of it. <laughs> Who misses EXO? <sighs> and then this one is EXO Kai and one of his selfies that he I think he posted it in his stories or in bubble. Yeah, and then this one. I did this for Chen's birthday. And I wanted to like incorporate that he's a dad already. So yeah, that's EXO Chen. And then the next one is a tarot card, like a random tarot card that I made. Also, my bias next to Tsuki from Haikyuu. And then of course, I have Tsuki, Tsukishima K reminding you to wear your mask always. Also, do you relate to like your glasses getting fogged up. So yeah, that's Tsukishima K. Before the channel that must not be named got deleted, I made this as a fan art. It's Unus Anus. Yes, the channel that just stayed with us for one year with Ethan from Crank Gameplays and Mark from Multiplier. Yeah, so I did this fan art for them. The Gone Goozler. Yes. And then for how you like that release, I did this. It's supposed to be Lisa, but I don't think it looks like Lisa. But I was starting digital painting with this, so I don't know if I didn't know the techniques yet. But it's it came out pretty good, I think. My camera died, so moving on. So this one, I love Umbrella Academy and also I love EXO so I tried to like a crossover for them. So this is Kai and Dio as Ben and Klaus. <laughs> so yeah, that is that. And then this one right here I made for their birthday. It's Dio and Kai. I made them for, I made that for their birthday. And then here are some random uh, digital paintings I made of the members. 
Uh, this is Shumin. This is Chen before he enlisted. I made that as a en an enlistment parting gift, I think. And then last year's Chanyol. I did this Chanyol for his birthday. Yeah. So that's that for my digital art. Actually, I also have, I still have some, but it's not yet printed. So I might might as well share that with you. So basically it's still here in my in my iPad. So maybe I'll just pop up a picture of it on this on the screen. So this one right here. I did this for Valentine's Day. It's like Tukishima K and your name or MC. You could use it as a profile picture if you're like single and you love Tsukishima K from Haikyuu yeah and then I also made this when Kai made a collaboration with Gucci yeah I made this so basically my bias is actually exo Kai just Kai and also lately I've been into Genshin Impact and my baby is Bennett Bennett deserves the world so here's a fan art with Razor and Bennett my best friend's uh, DPS is Be is Razor so yeah that's the Benny Bokin da of 2021 razor and bennett and then i also made a fan art of his like it's a kind of it's kind of spoiler but this is like a comic of his of how he got his vision so yeah well, let me show you a couple of fan arts are ma i made in traditional art form one is Exo Lei Ishing. I did this in 2019 and it is an oil on canvas painting. It's 11 by no, yeah, 11 by 8. So I got this photo, the reference photo. I'll just pop it up somewhere here on the screen. The reference photo from his Instagram. As well as this, this is obviously Kai. Exo Kai during his Gucci in Milan, I think. I think it's in Milan. I'll just pop up the reference photo as well. So yeah. And then this one, I'm particularly proud of this. Yeah, this is the painting I made during their obsession era. I love obsession. The aesthetics of obsession. So yeah, that's that. So that's it. That's all of my current, all the current paintings I have right now with me. So thank you so much for joining me and staying until the end. That's quite a few. There are quite a few paintings I've showed you. So I am excited to share with you the verses that came with those paintings the inspiration behind those paintings and i hope you do like them uh let me just warn you a bit it is not the happy kind of verses because i don't know i i'm weird it's it yeah the verses are kind of bleak but my art style is like colorful so i actually like the contrast I like that contrast and basically love polar opposites so yeah I hope you like it too uh, join me again maybe next week or when I upload the next video I'm working on something really exciting I hope you like it and stay tuned for those poetry videos that showcase the paintings yeah. join me again next time bye